Good morning everyone, this is Claire from Back My Stitch Up Design and the CEO of Design Emporium. I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial today on how to create um, products in Canva that you can then sell. So some of the things that I've done before include these um, Canva editable invitations, um, but you can do thank you cards, you can do Canva templates, um, you really can do pretty much anything stationary wise in Canva, Canva. it's really good. So if, um, if you're a complete beginner, you would set up your Canva account and um, you can go for a free version or I pay for Canva Pro because I use it so much. You can see I use it for most of my social media posts. Um, so then you would go to create a design. And you could go to custom size. And we'll do it in inches. And then for mine, I'm going to do five times seven inches and then create new design. <clears throat> or you could use um, one of the predetermined ones that they've already got, like invitation portrait. So one of the things to note about Canva is um, that if you are making products on there to sell, then you have to make them from scratch. You can't use... Um, basically like any predetermined templates on there so um, I've made a couple of examples already so say this was a blank card we'll delete some bits and um, so what you would do first of all is um, you could go to text and then they've already got some pretty cool text pairings that you can use um, so I pay for Canva Pro and um, so I've got access to all of these things here um, but one thing to know is that if you are going to be making products to sell um, don't include anything that's got the Canva Pro icon on it um, because when the customer um, then tries to edit that template, they won't be able to edit it without having a pro account themselves. So just stick to the, the free stuff. So I've already got my text on there. And um, to create just a generic text box, you just add to text box. Um, just delete that one. And then you'd go into the text box and you can select the fonts. Again, don't choose anything that has got um, a Canva Pro crown icon on it. So then when it comes to adding in your illustrations, um, what you would need to do is you'd need to have them already saved um, as individual JPEGs, sorry, individual PNG files uh, with no background. So I've got some um, already made that I used for coronation party design. So then you just highlight them and drag and drop them in to upload them into Canva. It takes a minute. And then you can move it around. The reason why they have to be individual PNGs is because if you brought something in like this one, where it's got multiple elements all saved on one PNG, um, you can't move the individual elements around. So always save them individually. We'll just bring a few elements in as an example. that one and it's literally that easy that one's pretty plain but it's just as an example and this is another one that I've done so once you've got that finished um, what you need to do is go to sorry it might be worth adding but you can only have one page on there just have one page and um, so you share you need to get a template link. So click template link and then copy. Um, you can actually use that template link 
in Design Emporium. Um, so as an example, so under product type, if you put external or affiliate product for your listing, then you can just paste the product URL directly in there. Um, but just for good practice, I'll show you another way to do it. So we've copied the URL and then you need to go into a separate document. Um, so what this is for is um, to hyperlink your Canva invitation or Canva product into this document that we will save as a PDF because then you can save the PDF and upload it as an actual file onto your um, product listing. So people can then download it and then they'll be able to click here and it will take them to the the Canva URL. So I just quickly made this um, just you can use whatever template you want for this it doesn't really matter. The important part is that where it says click here you click on it press the three dots and then you want to add a link. So then you would paste the link and now it's got the link in there. Um, and then you need to go to share, download, and you need to do it as a standard PDF. Um, because if you don't do it as a standard PDF, they won't be able to access the hyperlink. And then you would press download and save. Um, so, I've already done that bit. I'm going to skip over to Design Emporium. And you can see there I've um, put in the product URL and just to be double safe I have also uh, went to choose file and I uploaded the PDF document as well that's got the clickable URL. So now once a customer buys it they would be able to go into Canva, they'd get the hyperlink for that exact template and then they would be able to edit the text themselves and then they would either print it at home or just save it as a JPEG or PNG and then they can just send it digitally.